Now, the explore tool where you saw Charmaine going and searching for chocolate cake <laughs> is really incredible because what it allows you to do, and I'm just going to jump back into this Google Doc over here, is let's say I want to go, if you have a look in the bottom right hand corner, you'll notice this icon over here. This icon is your explore tool and it opens up your ability to explore the internet. So let's say I did go and search for chocolate cake again. Uh, I'm saying chocolate cake again, chocolate cake. Um, you'll see it brings up web results, it brings up images, and it even brings up um, content that you have from Google Drive. I'm very interested in the fact that I have a whole bunch of stuff in my Google Drive that says chocolate cake. But I can go and pop in images like you saw Charmaine do, or if I go to the web, what's really nice, because we all know that copyright is a thing, if I go and copy a bit of something, um, I can actually just drag and drop, and you'll see that it's popped it into here. Now, as I hover over, and I'm just going to zoom in so you can see this really fancy little icon. You see that quotation mark? So I just need to make sure that I'm in the right place. Where did I paste this? There we go. Next to that quotation mark, if I just click on it, what it does is it puts a little number one with a referencing, and if I scroll to the bottom, can you see how it's actually now referenced that for me? So that ability to be able to add referencing straight from within the um, document really saves you so much time. And you can even choose what type of referencing you want. Do you want MLA? Do you want APA? Or do you want Chicago? It really is such an incredible tool to be able to use. And within Google Slides, when you're creating presentations, you can go and search for copyright-free images straight from within the presentation. It's, it just makes your presentation creation that much faster. Then data questioning. One of the wonderful things about using the Explore tool, that same little icon that you saw us using Google Docs in Google Sheets, means that you can actually go and ask your data questions. So you could say you've got a date, you've got a question, uh, you've got a spreadsheet with a lot of data in it, and you just want to know like what was the highest figure that we got in May. You can ask your ask that data. You can ask your data that question using the Explore tool in Google Sheets.